Ooh, did you see that? Hey everybody, it's Colleen Pearl, the Cool Crone, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm doing a little video. It's uh, November 21st, 2024. I'm going to do a little video to look at uh, what J.D. Vance has been up to. Now, J.D. missed a really important vote on a judge a couple of days ago in the Senate, and um, his colleagues were not happy with him, but Donald Trump especially was not happy with him because he really wants to control the voting of these judges because this was a judge that was picked by Biden, of course, and Biden is really pushing getting all of these judges through. You might be interested to know, though, that this is not unusual behavior for Mr. Vance. He has missed every Senate vote since becoming Donald Trump's vice presidential running mate. So it should come as no surprise to anyone, and it's just yet another thing of distraction for them to throw up in the news for us to talk about. But I do want to um, talk about his stuff, you know, what's going on with him, because he's... Uh, a little bit miss MIA in general. Like, uh, what was he doing if he wasn't at the Senate? I mean, isn't that his job? So until next year? So I don't know. So I'm going to shuffle on J.D. Vance, and I want to know what is he working on? And then I'll do what's going to happen with him in January. Is he being elevated to the VP? Is he not? Who knows? So as I shuffle, I'm just thinking about uh, J.D. Vance. What is he up to right now? What's going on with him right now? What's happening for J.D. right this red hot minute? Let's just focus on that. Okay. So J.D. Okay, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting, interesting. <laughs> so right now, JD is actually not in a great place. Now you would think that he'd be on cloud nine. Hey, he won, he did everything right. He followed all of both of his Mr. T's directions, Mr. DJT and Mr. PT. Um, he followed all of their directions and he succeeded. He completed the assignment, etc. So what I have here is the Eight of Swords, which means that he is feeling trapped. And the thing with this Eight of Swords card in this deck is it shows two people. So I'm going to interpret that, that um, both JD and his wife are feeling trapped. Notice JD or the man in the picture has his back to the woman. So he's not helping her. And her, yeah, they're both, what they're standing on almost looks like it's a little puddle within ice. So they're iced out. They're not a part of the whatever's going on. And they feel trapped, like they can't get out of it. And the next card doesn't get much better. It's the Four of Cups. So for me, this is just like he didn't, he didn't realize what he was getting himself into. It's one thing to follow the commands of Peter T, but it's quite another to be all wrapped up and joined at the hip with DJT. That's a whole different level of BS for him. Okay, I'll just say it. it's a whole other level of bullshit for him. And I'm guessing that during the campaign, he could kind of stomach it. But right now, he just he he doesn't like it. He doesn't like what's going on. And it's falling into a pattern. I have the six of wands here, which in other decks is the hero, the person who wins and he comes in as the victor. But what I'm getting from this card is the regularity of the, the treatment. I was going to say abuse. I don't know if it's gone to the abuse level yet because a narcissist, when they first get to know you, they, they treat you great. They, they compliment you. They praise you. They flatter you. They... Um, Make sure that you feel like you're the most special little person in the universe 
according to them and that they can't live without you. Everything that you do is precious and wonderful. But then as they become used to you, they begin to pick it apart. They begin to make criticisms. They begin to pull you down off that pedestal so that they're higher than you. And the thing that is so weird is that most people who get involved with narcissists don't even want to be higher than the narcissist. They don't even want the adulation that the narcissist gives them. But the narcissist is so good at um, really grooming them to, to be their puppet that people forget who they are. They forget what's going on and they just give in to it. And I think that's kind of the stage that JD is at now. He's beginning to feel like, hey, wait a minute, I thought you thought I was the hero. And now you're telling me I don't, I'm not enough and I don't know things and whatever he's doing to him. So whatever T is doing to him, it's not good. Now what I have here is um, the three of pentacles. So he's in the mode of I have to learn what's going on. I have to figure out what my job is going to be. Well, the good news for him is that the VP spot is very undefined. It can be whatever he and the president decide it's going to be, or it can just be whatever he decides it's going to be. But the final outcome is the hanged man, which means that a different perspective on things is coming for Mr. Vance. Now, this different perspective, usually, we hope, is enlightenment. Notice the effulgent halo around his head. This man, like Odin, hangs from the tree for a certain amount of time and reaches enlightenment. I don't think J.D. Vance is getting enlightenment. Do you? <laughs> I just don't see it coming. I just don't see it coming. Let me throw a few more cards. And then I'm going to do a whole other throw about uh, the January. That this is just right now. Right now is what, what's going on right now. What I do is I take a section of the cards out as if I've cut the cards and then I fan them out and then I intuitively just pull five cards out. That's just been my practice for this year, for 2024. This is what I've been doing. Oh boy. Okay. That's not all bad. He's got the four of wands. So he's got, you know, this could be a celebration, but it doesn't look very celebratory to me. Now, I specifically was drawn to this deck for this reading tonight. So if I was doing the Rider weight deck, this card would have a different meaning, but also this card would have a different meaning. They have very different meanings in the Rider weight deck to this deck. So what I get here with the Four of Swords is this is regularity, balance, finding your groove, uh, finding what supports you, building a foundation. Very, very different from the happy Mar-a-Lago celebrations that are what we usually see on the Rider Waite Four of Wands. Now the Empress is the next card. What does that mean? Does this mean that other country? Does this mean support from another country? I think it does. Because the next couple of cards that he gets are pentacles. He gets the nine of pentacles, which is very much like the Rider weight deck. It's sitting pretty, living in the lap of luxury, being very cosseted and protected and taken care of, and not really having to lift a finger to make it happen. And then we get the ace of pentacles. So what I think this is meaning, because the last card is the Five of Cups. Um, everything's just overturned. It's just not what he thought it was going to be. It just didn't turn out the way he thought it was going to be. So I think he's getting ready for, you know, actually going to the inauguration and being inaugurated. But I think that things are going to change rapidly. And I think that those things that change are going to have to do with money. And I think there's going to be people doing things with money and it's not going to be pretty and in the end I think he's very disappointed 
So it's not what he signed up for. It's not what he thinks that he's going to do. I also feel, now I don't have another king in here, but we'll look at the next throw. I also feel that this is, um, this is a, a friction between the people who got him there, which ain't DJT, it's other people, and the people that usually support him, which is PT, right? Very different. Than what he decided, than what he thought he was going to get. So let me do a throw on what will be going on for JD Vance in January. And the reason I'm doing uh, readings on the people around DJT is so that I don't have to talk very much about him. But we will still get a picture of what might be happening by seeing what happens to the players around him. I think that's a, I think that's a good strategy. What do you think? Is that okay? All right, good. And uh, for those of you who are always complaining about my volume, I assure you that my microphone is turned up. Everything should be coming through really well. In fact, let me just make sure that this, uh, usually I have this on 85. I'm gonna actually put it up to 100, see if it makes a difference. And in the sound levels, it actually doesn't because it kind of caps things off and it doesn't let things go so high so it doesn't blast your eardrums out. But anyway, I did turn it up, so it's still going to modulate it back down because it's all, you know, controlled. But let's shuffle and see what is coming up for JDV and January. Now that's two months away. We're just at the end of November, right? So then we have December to get through and then January. So what's happening in January for this man. Is this going to affect his family? His family has to actually move. Maybe they already live there in uh, Washington, D.C. He is a senator. He's there for six years, so maybe he just had his whole family moved out to Washington, D.C. I, mean, I don't really care that much about him to know where he lives, but for the purposes of this card reading, I'd like to know where he is. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. JD, what are you doing in late January? What's happening for you in late January? What's happening for you? So I'm assuming he's, his, his seat is not up. I think he's only been a senator for two years, and it's a six-year thing. So I guess he could go back to being a senator. But I have a feeling, I just have a feeling that Politics is going to begin to rub him the wrong way if things don't go his way in January. So, here we go. Here's for J.D. Vance in January. And let's see what we have. Okay. Well, again, we get the Four of Cups. So again, we start out in January where he's really saying, this is not my jam. This is not what I signed up for. This is not cool. It's just not cool. And then he has the Three of Swords. He's severely disappointed. He's very, very disappointed and upset. But then we have Strength. So he's going to try to push through. He's going to try to muscle through, but it's right next to the full. So what does this mean? Well, I'll tell you simply, it's no bueno. It is not good. He's being, he's acting a fool and he's doing it loudly with a lot of conviction. So I don't think this is good for anybody. And it ends up, it is terrible for everybody, especially him, because he ends up with the Ten of Swords. Now this Ten of Swords is a really gruesome, really violent Ten of Swords card. But again, I was drawn to this deck for a reason. This is not going to go well for him. January is not a good look for Mr. Vance. So again, I'm going to spread out the rest of the cards. Nice little fan. And then I'm going to pick out my cards. What's happening for JD? January, let's see. Can we clarify on these cards that we already have out? Let's see what we get. 
Okay. Wow. Well, I wish I could stop short of saying that I think that he is going to have charges on him, but I think he's going to have charges on him too. The Six of Swords comes up. This is reminiscent of the Four of Swords, but it's not the same card. It's a different card. The Six of Swords is usually the card for people moving on from choppy to calm waters, right? Mm, that's not what's happening here. Sixes are regularity. Sixes tell us that we have chosen a particular pattern to, to, um, to live our life in, right? So he has chosen a pattern, and I think it's a pattern after you get something like this, it's a pattern to help you survive. It's a pattern of behavior that you adopt in order to live, in order to exist. Then he gets the Three of Cups and the Two of Wands. Not bad, but what I'm seeing here is he and his wife, and then trying to plan for the future. What the hell are they going to do? So maybe, you know, if he is uh, convicted of something or just charged with something, that could impact their lives, you know, if he actually is found guilty and is potentially going off to prison or something like that, that could really change their lives appreciably. Goes to the justice card. So he will face justice. He will face justice and what happens to him will be just. So JD, if you've got any hinky behavior in your closet, it's going to be found out. It's going to be exposed, it's going to be charged, and you're probably going to be convicted. And then we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords. This is the Rest card. But also, look, there's a Jupiter symbol in there. This, this green in the background here, that's the symbol for Jupiter. It looks like a four. So what does that mean? Well, fours are a foundation. And it's swords, so it's an intellectual foundation. So I see another book. I see him coming out of this in some way and writing a book about his experiences and making a little money off of that because he still has to support his family. But his wife is an, is an attorney as well. So they're not going to be too hard up. So don't cry too hard for them. But anyway, that's not, not great for J.D. Vance. So I'm seeing some not great things happening, coming down the pike for J.D. Vance. Um, and that's all I wanted to really do is take a look at him and see what's going on with him as far as January, which would be uh, potentially the time of the inauguration, and also what was going on with him right now. So thank you for watching. This has been Colleen Pearl, the Cool Crone. And I want to say to everybody, Thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for my continuing support from my existing subscribers. And um, please do a thumbs up if you can. Also, I am available for private readings. Go to my website, www.thecoolcrone.com. Go to book now and you can set it all up. All right. Mwah. See you guys soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.